Hey guys, so welcome back to Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Let's carry on where we left off. We're about to go back to square one, where it all began, which is having Alice as our opponent. Look at a little precious termite mount here. We've pretty much completed it all, just one more uh, room we have to go through during the second set of chromatic doors, and then one more through the white chromatic doors. So we know this is going to be the garden. I don't know what this is going to be yet. I don't think we've seen that room. We've seen the security room. We've seen the director's office. But yeah, otherwise, after that, we start going through all these locks one by one, right? And seeing if we can uncover the full mystery of what's going on. Uh, so let's go. Let's go and compete with Alice and ally with her. Hopefully she'll be happy because this will be the first time anyone's allied with her, I think, during the first round. Hey, it's almost time. It sure is. Let's skip. Oh, <laughs> almost click, click betray again. Ally. There we go. Now, hopefully she doesn't pull a Tim Yuji and s switches to betray on this flow. I'll be very upset. I'll be as upset as she was. And then we have to deal with the bombs as well, right? As Fire and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. What the hell were you thinking? Uh, I've been there, done that, Fi, okay? And I got ostracized by my viewers last time I chose Betray. Okay, so this time I'm taking the path of least resistance. Did you hear anything I said? <laughs> yeah, I was. And, yeah, I did. That's why I chose Ally. You told me that unless we were sure Alice would choose Ally, we had to vote Betray. That means that if we do know Alice is going to pick Ally, we can too. Haha. <laughs> he's, he's referencing the fact that we know she's going to choose Ally. So you're sure you know what she voted? Yeah. I guarantee Alice chose Ally. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. let's slow down there, Sigma. If you really have been hopping between flows, you know that sometimes it changes. How do you know that? I guess you could say I just know. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Siggy! Oh man, this is gonna be the last time we hear this dialogue. I know! What are you kids doing over there? Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Let's go. We'll find out if you made the right choice. Alright. We will. Jeez, if only I'd made this choice a lot sooner. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! Hit me. Amberdex game! Round one! The results! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. <sighs> Luckily we've got like all these bomb codes, right? So we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Betray ally. Ally, ally, ally. Fuck, I knew you, mother... It happens every time. Alice. <laughs> every time. <sighs> Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Uh, can't wait to blow up at her. Oh man, Fly's gonna wreck me. Hey, Alice! What the hell is this? Excuse me? See, if I had chosen Betray, uh, if I had chosen Ally, my very first run through of the game, and she chose Betray, I'd have been, like, kicking myself. I'd be like, guys, I told you. I told you, okay? So, now I feel, you know, a little more better about my decision I made all those months ago now. Jeez, I've been playing this game for ages. I just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose Betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well... No, oh, if only you said that last time. An idiot. <laughs> oh, harsh. But last time you chose ally for this round. So, I was sure you... That's why I... Oh, why? Why does it keep changing? I don't understand. Wait a minute. Something must be going on. Something that's changing everyone's options. Last time? What on earth are you talking about? I thought you said you were sure. Yeah, I told you, Sigma. You can't say guarantee, okay? You, you, you're you aware that these little uh, anomalies can happen in the space-time continuum. Thanks to you, now our BP is down to one. Why don't you push the button next time, then? Jeez, instead of explaining everything to me, why don't you just take matters into your own hands? I take it Sigma was the one who made the decision? Yeah. Is that so? Well, he must be awfully naive. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm such a fool. I'm such a bumbling idiot. Who bets on a complete stranger like that? <sighs> That's okay. We're just gonna... It's gonna bite my lip. I agree. God damn it. 
I set my jaw and stumped away from Allison Fi. My hands had balled themselves into fists, but my throat was tight and my eyes stuck. Why? Why had she done it? Quark, Dio, and Luna's group, on the other hand, seemed calm. Almost happy. Thank you. I wonder why this is the case, you know? I'm so happy you chose Ally. And I need to think, is that where the ambidex room is of the other flows, right? Because apparently this one is the only one where it didn't get moved via crane, right? So is she, like, with Dio somehow? Possibly. Mm, no problem. He seems so, like, stuttery and unsure when he says that. This is, like, the only time Dio chooses Ally. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Dio wanted to pick Betray. <laughs> what? Uh, hey! Mr. Dio told me to pick Betray so that we could get three points. He said we could escape together. If we betrayed you, then we'd have six BP. And then, if we betrayed someone in the next round, we'd have none. <laughs> oh, Dio... Is this true? Uh, no, th that's not what happened at all. Kidding! <laughs> I lied. Wow. That was a joke. Mr. Dio would never do something like that. That is a harsh joke. It was a joke? Uh, yeah. Man, you, you really had me going there. <laughs> I really surprised you, huh? <laughs> so you really were planning to choose Ally all along? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah. So, like, it's like it's like Quark has him by the balls or something. I don't know what it is. It, only in this flow. But, I don't know. Like, we know that Luna might be somewhat involved in that murder of the old woman, right? Because it was her room or something that she was found dead in. Or something like that. I can't remember. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust, huh? See, when everyone betrays everyone else, it's like, oh, you know, oh, man. It was my fault, actually. I should have been more trustworthy. But when I betray someone, they're like, what the fuck, Sigma, you fucking idiot? <laughs> it's, uh, it's harsh, man. It's, it's tough being Sigma. You can't escape through the number nine door. Every time I betray, I feel guilty as shit. Um, it's like... I suppose you could say that. How am I supposed to just get everyone's trust and make everyone happy, you know? I just tough life. didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. It looked like there had been some sort of argument between Kay, Clover, and Tenyuji, although whatever it was seemed to have resolved itself amicably. Zero, when does the next round start? <sighs> well, at least Alice won't be complaining about only having one BP this time. In terms of almost dying. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten BLD. Or Siggy. Oh, or maybe Fido. Or maybe everyone. <laughs> what? No, nope, no more skipping. Hmm. Why? I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose VP drops to... There we go. I see. Phi, Sigma, and I only have one VP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. Mm hmm yeah, Fi ain't happy. <laughs> I took a moment to go over everything in my head. The A-B game would continue until someone opened the number 9 door. Amongst everything else. Man, that's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> Jeez. I forgot all this stuff happens after the first A-B game. It's been a while since we went all the way back, right? Okay, let's see what everyone else has to say. Okay, so this is all the same. It's until we encounter Alice. And the bombs in the crew quarters. So let's go there last. Just to see how it all ends up. Oh, I Sigma. Oh, Alice. Jeez. <laughs> Alice. Is this because you just die in every flow? In which case, I understand, you know, you got a bone to pick with everybody. What's up with your face? You look like you just saw a roach. Man, she is such a bitch in this flow. Gosh. At least she's like, she's somewhat like tolerable to the other ones because I feel bad because, you know, she's got one BP and we betrayed her. But this time she's just all cocky. She's like, ha, I got six points, Sigma. You snooze, you lose, you know? Are you still angry? Okay, well, you should have seen. You know what? <laughs> of course! I'm teetering on the brink of the abyss thanks to you. I didn't have a choice. I'm just trying to get out of here like we all are. And that's enough to justify screwing someone else over? That's not what I meant, and you know it. 
If I'd known for sure that you were going to choose Ally, then I would have chosen Ally too. So you knew for sure I was going to choose Ally last time, did you? <laughs> Easy for you to say that now. What? Am I such a horrible person for wanting to get out of here? I have to get out of here. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. I mean, it sounds like you've lived your life, you know? We've already heard that before, though. I remember that. Man, that is a lot of dialogue. Yeah, I forgot. Crew quarters. I think I'll head to the crew quarters. I see. Right. Later, bro. Later, bro. You're hardly my bro as well, okay? Jeez, I headed out of the infirmary. Feels like I'm back to square one with all these characters. Jeez. I mean, we are technically back to square one because we've gone all the way back. It's just funny. Imagine just being in a scenario where you jump flows and you know everything and people don't and they're just like, what the hell? How do you know this stuff? Or why did you think she was going to choose Ally? What do you mean last time? And you'd just be like, yeah, last time. And you treat these guys like your friends oh, and everything sure. and you remember, actually, these guys barely know me. I only know them so well because I played this game like nine times with them. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Shrining his cat. Was that true though? Was that really the first time I'd heard it? I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd heard Radical Six somewhere before. But where? And why? Hmm. If it is true, then I worry. Alright, there's the bomb. It's us remembering that it explodes, even though we haven't seen it yet. Obviously it's only relevant in this flow. That's a number three bomb which we haven't gotten access to. Jeez, I feel like I need to actually redo all this dialogue, but there's so much of it. I'll just rewatch it in my own time. Because this was so long ago now. Okay. Man, I think this is like the most Programmed detailed flow. Well, it looks like we only got one choice here. It's the garden, right? So. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. I've forgotten how this is going to shake out. The doors have opened. We need to figure out who's going where and fast. Uh, so our options this time are. Um... We don't have time to wait for you to figure it out. <laughs> Just pay attention. I'm only going to say this once. File out our options. Option A, Luna and I, Yellow, pair up with Clover, Cyan, to open the green door. Tim, Yuji, and Dio, Magenta, pair up with Alice, Yellow, to open the red door. K and Quark, Cyan, pair up with Phi, Magenta, to open the blue door. Option B, Luna and I, Yellow, pair up with Phi, Magenta, to open the red door. That's not going to happen. Tim, Yuji, and Dio, Magenta, pair up with Clover, Cyan, to open the blue door. K and Quark, Cyan, pair up with Alice, Yellow, to open the green door. Option C. Luna and I, yellow, pair up with Alice, yellow, to open the blue door. That's not going to happen either. We're going through the green door, guys. Tim, Yuji, and Dio, magenta, pair up with Phi, magenta, to open the green door. K and Quark, Cyan, pair up with Clover, Cyan, to open the red door. Three minutes remain. Let's just see what the dialogue options Chromatic say, though. Doors closed. Okay. How are we going to do this? We need a system here, or we'll never have time to argue it out. Why don't we let the people who are at the most disadvantage right now decide? The most what? The people who only have one BP. Oh, so that would be me, you, and Tim Yuji. No way. Oh, I refuse. Get out of town. Well then, what would you suggest? We'll be fair and take a vote. A vote? So we all just, what, raise our hands for the option we want? Exactly. So which one do you want, Alice? Option C. I want to go with Sigma and Luna. Why the hell would you want this? You know I'm going to choose Betray. Tough. Pick something else. My, my. Looks like you're not so fond of me anymore. Do you agree with him, Luna? I'll just let Sigma decide. Oh, thanks, Luna. <laughs> Fine. I'd like option C, too. Clover and I were a pair for the first round, so I feel that I can trust her. What about you, Quark? That's fine with me. So that's three votes for option C, counting mine. How about the rest of you? I'd like to pair up with Sigma and Luna, too. <laughs> oh god, she wants revenge. So, option B, then. I'd like to go with Phi. You good with that, Luna? Um, sure. I really don't mind. Then we've got three votes for option B. And then we're gonna have I'd three like to votes go with option a. for option A. <laughs> you want to pair up with Alice? You're a strange duck. Hmm. 
How about you, Tenmyoji? I don't mind going with option A. One minute remains All until right. Tell us what the you got, guys. doors close. So two votes for A and three votes for B and C. If Clover's vote does, doesn't decide this thing, we're going to have to figure something else out. Which one do you want, Clover? Option A. I, um, I want to go with option C. option C. You're kidding me. Quark chose ally in the first round, and I was with K in the first round. Then that's what we're doing. Option C had won four votes. We were almost out of time, and I didn't exactly have a convincing argument. I was going to have to go with the majority. Never Ten mind, then. We're <laughs> going with Alice. Until chromatic doors close. Nine. Eight. Seven. The doors are closing. Let's go! Come on, Luna. Hurry up! We've got to get to the blue door. Right. Not the green door, like I wished. Luna, Alice, and I dashed toward the blue door. I, I couldn't remember where the garden door was. Sorry. I don't really pay attention to which doors are behind which colored doors. That's my bad. I looked over my shoulder in time to see the others disappearing into their doors. Clover, Quark, and Kay had ended up with the red door. And Fi, Dio, and Tenmyuji had gone through the green door. All Two, I knew is the garden wasn't behind the red one, door. <laughs> zero. Chromatic doors closing. Well, let's see how this plays out. Though. Who knows, maybe she'll get infected with Radical Six again. And then, you know, karma's a biatch, right? <laughs> Obviously, I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff. <laughs> Huh? There are three doors here. It looks like they're all locked, though. Does that mean this is just a dead end? Well, there's a weird lever thing over here. Try pulling it. How about you try pulling it? Hey, what's with all this hostility? What do you mean, what's with all this hostility? Oh, she's just trolling me now. Are you still mad about the last AB game? Of course I am. Please don't fight. We need to work together, or we're really going to be in trouble. Please? <laughs> Hmm. Very well. I'll pull the lever then. Thanks, Luna. I mean, oh, jeez. Is that okay? Yeah, go right ahead. See if I care. Right, now she's being mean to Luna. That's a bit much. Okay. Anyway, let's. <laughs> jeez, enemy mine here. One of the doors opened. But only one. I wonder how you open the other ones. You go through different flows, Luna. Who cares? We should get moving. Or you get locked out of the nine door, and then all the doors will open anyways. Okay. Jeez, we found this room ages ago, but we never got to solve it until just now. What is this place? Don't tell me we somehow managed to get outside. I doubt it. Look up. There's a ceiling up there. Yeah, I remember the door said Bee Garden or something. What's a Bee Garden? Probably stands for something. Maybe beautiful? Botanical garden? Huh. This feels like a whole other little world. Floor B garden? I don't know. Maybe there's an A garden upstairs. Somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> like an oasis in the middle of all this metal. I feel kind of weird saying this, considering where we are, but... It's peaceful here? This place feels so... liberating. All of this green. It's wonderful. It's huge, though. We'll wear ourselves ragged trying to search the whole thing. This must be the exit. Damn. Well, so much for this being easy. It's locked. We should split up and look around. Agreed. Well, let's get to it, then. Alright, jeez. Well, just like in life, you don't always get to work with people you want to, you know? Like those group projects you get in school. Sometimes you get paired with an asshole. And that's what we've got, so I guess this is going to be a bit more different to navigate. There's a red spotted mushroom growing in the shadow of this tree. Okay, that's a nice little observation there. I suppose let's move. We're going to have to cross the water to get over there. Please be careful. If you slip, you could fall into the stream. Clicking the blue arrow will move you from the current area to an adjacent one. Okay, what do we got? Wow, they even made a waterfall. Hold on. Doesn't it look like there's something built into the rock wall behind the waterfall? Yeah. The walkway goes under it, doesn't it? I wonder what's back there. Suppose we need to push a button or something? There's some buttons there. A little uh, metal rod. A metal shaft. 
The tip has an octagonal hole. It looks kind of like a wrench. It sure does. Aren't you guys tired? Why don't we rest on this bench for a while? The water from the waterfall splashes all over it, though. If we sit here, won't, um, our butts get wet? Damn it. I've been made. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Sigma, go on. There are three red buttons on the panel. I pushed them, but nothing happened. Do you think they're broken? Maybe you just need to press them in a specific order. Okay, well, we don't know the order just yet, so... What a nice stream. It's too bad there aren't any fish. Indeed. Got a shovel? Large shovel. A steel-colored shovel. It's not rusty at all. Maybe keeping it in the shed kept it from rusting. This had to be for digging the stuff up. I can't think of any other use for it. Hmm. Huh? There's something next to my foot. Bronze key. It's got a jewel on it. A small copper key. Probably goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? Put on a key ring. Got something over here. Jeez, this place is massive. Alright, we've got that mushroom, which is by under the tree. Got, I don't know, some moss-covered rock. And some flowers. So we probably need to dig that up. A bird's eye view of the garden. It's kind of like a map. What's that on the right? It looks like a box. I think it's a treasure chest. It's connected to the drawing above it, see? I wonder if Luna is actually an android. Just the way her naive nature is and whatnot, and she, how kind she is? I don't know. Maybe it's a stretch. But this is how I feel, you know? It's just a flower pot. There's nothing special about it at all. Mind you, she got stabbed with the poison and killed her. And it killed her, so... At least that's what we think. So, maybe not. Then again, you know, we have white liquid coming out of our hands and we got poisoned all the same. Wait, don't people usually hide their house keys under a flower pot or in the mailbox? They do? Just trust me. I'm sure there's something under there. <laughs> A small silver key. Probably goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? Well done, Luna. Jeez, I never thought about that. Okay. Someone was growing tomato vines on these skate on these stakes. Not these skates. Each vine has several red tomatoes hanging off of it. I said tomatoes and tomatoes in two different ways in that one sentence. Or in one di piece of dialogue. Interesting. There are some vines with cucumbers growing on them, hanging off of the frame. There are leaves sprouting out of the ground here. They look like onions. Oh, and this thing. Hey, it's a paprika! No, that's a pepper. Probably a bell pepper. Paprika is what you call the spice you make from them. Oh, huh. Why is it split in half? I'm not sure. Wait, is there something in there? Oh yeah. Let me take a look. Yellow coin. I didn't think a colored coin would be made of metal. You can get lots of different colored coins by using different alloys. I saw a 5 cent coin made from brass once, and a 10 cent coin made from bronze. I've seen people use a metal detector to search for coins on those shows where they hunt for treasure. Yeah, I guess if coins are metal, that would make sense. Yeah, treasure hunters looking for coins. <laughs> I suppose if they're rare coins, then that's something. And what have we got here? Pool cleaner? Oh no, it's a metal detector. <laughs> this is a metal detector. It's pretty much what it says on the tin. You use it to detect metal. What sort of range do you think it has? It depends on the amount of metal. Large objects can be detected even if they're several meters underground. That's amazing. But what about small things, like a ring or a screw? Yeah. Unfortunately, sometimes you can't find that sort of thing, even if it's only a few centimeters underground. Oh. So you need to be pretty close to it for the metal detector to work there. So we're going to use this to hunt for something and then use the shovel to dig it up? This is... It looks like a tombstone. So the people buried here are Mr. Tu Fui and Mrs. Ego Eris. <laughs> what? Well, that's what it says. Tu Fui, Ego Eris. That's an epitaph. Something that the feel represents them. Or just a phrase they like. What does it mean? Beats me. Any ideas, Luna? It looks like it's Latin, but I don't know what it means either. Hmm. Did you see this? It looks like there's a keyhole down here near the bottom. You're right. 
I don't think I've got the key for it yet. These are for, like, those treasure chests. I suppose there's no harm in trying to put it in. Let's see if the key I've got works. Nope, no luck. I don't think this key is for this keyhole. Yeah. We got here. Looks like there's some sort of tile mosaic on the bottom of the pond. A lion. Yeah. A lion eating the sun. <laughs> Looks like a lion, alright. Okay, we've got another scale, which we've seen that in the archive room. Another bench. Looks like there's just enough room for two on this bench. Why are you looking at me? Oh, no reason. I'm not going to be sitting with Alice. <laughs> okay. There's that. There's these, which was on the, um, on the legend on that map. A white flower with dark green leaves. It's a skunk cabbage. The white flower part is actually a leaf. Interesting. Do I dig it up? Whoops, not come by. You're going to dig up the skunk cabbage? Poor thing. It's never done anything to you. I know, I know, but it's necessary, okay? It's gonna do something for us. Don't worry, I'll replant it when we're done. Yeah, right. Box with gold lid. Box with gold lid, huh? Snazzy. There's an opening, though. Don't have the key for it yet. Okay. There's the key right there. A metal scale. There's a plate on each side. On the right plate. Gold key. A small golden key. Probably goes in a keyhole. I mean, what else do you do with a key? And on the left plate. A small knife. This looks like a paring knife. What's that? It's a knife you use for small delicate work. Like deveining shrimp. But you can use it to cut pretty much anything. That's awesome. Um, you know, all about cooking and stuff. I bet Alice just cuts things with her bare hands. I guess it's time I showed you just how good I am at cooking things. I think I'll start by cooking you. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. Well, you already got my blood boiling, so you're on your way. Alright, so this opens. Piece of metal. I think this is part of something. This part here kind of looks like a butterfly. Yeah, I can see that. Like the wings. The other side is a sort of octagon shape. So I suppose we just combine it. With our rod. Lever handle. So it's like a little crank. I made this by combining some things I found. It looks like some kind of handle. This looks like somebody just tore the handle off a door. If you put the butterfly in into something, you could probably use it like just like a handle. Okay, we're done with all that. We should also unlock the chest. Oops. Combine. Torn scrap of paper. The piece of paper I got out of the gold box. It looks like it was torn off another piece of paper. Hopefully it tells us what we need to dig for. If we use the middle detector. There's a sky, but we're indoors. I think the ceiling dome is made up of a bunch of hexagonal screens. They're playing a video that looks like the sky. Then that means it won't even rain or get stormy or anything, huh? Probably not. Although I imagine they have some kind of system in place to water the plants. Sounds pretty boring. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're done here. Let's move. Is that the moss-covered rock? I think there's something here, but I can't really tell. Oh, it looks so blurry. Should we try digging it? Alright, let's try digging here. There we go. Combine that with the bronze key. Another scrap of paper. Let's combine that. Oh, not yet. Okay. Let's go for the mushroom. What's this? There's a circular indentation on this panel. And there are two fan-shaped holes inside it. Look carefully. Those fans are connected. It looks like a butterfly. The handle fits perfectly into the hole on the wall. Good. Now try turning it. Oh, it's night time. When I turned the handle, it got dark. It looks like the light up there went down. Maybe that light was some sort of surrogate sun. But if that's the case, it didn't just get dark. It became nighttime. The lion is now eating the sun, literally. Hmm. So the garden needs nighttime? I guess so. 
Or maybe there's some hidden meaning in switching from night to day. Let's go see if anything's changed now that it's dark. If we want it to be afternoon again, all we have to do is turn the handle, right? Let's see. First, I don't know if I can dig while it's dark, but we'll see. It's too dark to tell what's going on. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll come back. Star on the stream. Hey, look at that. Are these stars? Maybe the idea was that when night falls, the stars come out. Hmm. Possibly. Purple star. That's small. Blue star. Big. Yellow star. Medium size. Small green star. Big red star. Okay. The stars show up, showed up once night fell. I wonder if there's some significance to that. Hmm. Well, he did look at this. But we can't get there until we know the order of this. So that's probably for that puzzle. Looks like there's something built into the rock wall, or built into the rock wall behind the waterfall. We can't get to it, though. Okay. Let's just write it down. Oh, this bloody thing. Okay, uh... <laughs> so we start with a... Oh, I've already forgotten. Purple star. P S B S Y S G S R S. This is like the biggest. This is the smallest, I think it is. This one was two B. This is the Mm, 2s, and that's the medium size one. I don't know if the sizes matter, but just figure I should make note of it. Okay, unroll that. Let's dig up the mushroom. Whee. Turning the handle back made the room bright again. The light that went down when you turned the night on came back up. So now the sun is out, and it's gone from night to afternoon. Or morning, you know. A red spotted mushroom. I think I'll try digging here. Done. Nope. Where's my key? There it is. Okay, can we combine this one now? Torn note. Okay. This piece of paper has seven red dots on it and an arrow running down the left edge. Maybe we're supposed to read this in the direction of the arrow? It looks like the dots are all either in the middle, on the left, or on the right. So we got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Here we go. Yay! The waterfall stopped. I guess that was what the waterfall... I guess that was the waterfall control panel. Good. Alright. The indentations are small and circular, so we probably need something that matches that description. Do you have anything like that? Small and circular, huh? Or why not one? This thing. And if we go by my memo. Hmm. Okay. We need to find the others then. Where could they be? That was just randomly there on the bell paper. I'm gonna need to find a key for that. Nothing on that end of the walkway. Is that a Japanese alcove? They can grow to over 20 meters, so this one is probably still pretty young. Does that mean it'll break through the ceiling eventually? Then maybe we can use it to escape! Hey, that's a great idea! Why didn't I think of that? Oh, I know, because it's idiotic! Jeez, take a joke, lady. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Rough. Okay. Man, I was alright with Alice, but now she's just, just being a dick to me all the time. So mean. Okay, so we need to find a key. I suppose we should look around. And we should dig up these plants. I've already done that. 
We also got this knife that I need to use. Maybe we need to cut the the fruit. Aren't the coins made of metal? You've got the perfect way to find them then, don't you? Really? Oh, the metal detector seems to be responding to this tomato. All right, grab it. Okay. Did it react to any of the others? No, just this one. Here you go. Thank you. Red. Onion. What's that gonna be? Green, I guess. Oh, it's this one. It's reacting to this onion. All right, let's dig it up. This was the only one that got a reaction, right? Freshly excavated onion. The metal detector went off when I waved it over this onion, right? That must mean there's metal in there. Okay, don't cry as we open this thing. White coin. Okay. Cucumber. Cucumber. These cucumbers are so long. Do you think there might be a coin in one of them? Maybe we should just go through one by one and bite into them. That's not a good idea. There's got to be something we could use to make it easier. Yep, forgot to have it equipped. Sorry. Oh, look. The metal detector is reacting to this one. Okay, can you grab that one then? Right. Did it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did any of the others cause any reaction? No, just this one. Here you go. Freshly picked cucumber. Okay, we've got four coins. Let's move. Now it's just figuring out the order of this thing. Because the way the arrows are, right? So, I don't think I wrote white, did I? We've got purple, we've got blue, we've got yellow, we've got green, we've got red. So what's up with the white coin? Um, hmm. Okay, we start with purple, then blue. Yellow. I don't even have blue. Let's put yellow here. Green. Red. Oh, really? Okay, never mind. I have to take them all with me. The stream that flows through the garden. Switch it back to nighttime. Maybe I missed something. Star is purple. It's so small and cute. So far, I found one star. Oh, it's not gonna do that pathway again. That sucks. This one's blue. I feel like I could just reach out and grab it. How romantic. Well, I am a woman. It looks like a looks a little large for me to carry, though. So far, I found two stars. Well, you're welcome to put your head in the water. <laughs> Yellow star. Yeah, there's no white stars anywhere, is there? The star is yellow. The size, shape, and color are all exactly what I'd expect from a star. I guess you could say this is a typical star. I would say it's mid-sized. So far I found three stars. This is the green one. That star looks pretty green. That's a pretty small star. I'm impressed you even saw it. So far I found four. It's really dark. I can barely see. That star is definitely red. The light is right underneath it. This is a big star. So far I found five stars. Five stars out of five. Now. What am I going to do with all these coins? It's too dark. Maybe I should go somewhere else. No stars hidden over here, right? Hmm. Okay. Let's go back. I need to think about this carefully. Right. Back to this. I have four. Like this list then sign. It could be a list then sign or it could be an arrow. I mean, I guess... 
does that white light bulb count as a star? In which case, that definitely goes there, right? It sounded like something unlocked. Whoa. I guess it was just a panel. It was actually a door. And there's a screen inside of it. It's showing nine stars. What are we supposed to do with them? Well, why don't you try touching them? Press the star buttons in the correct order. Purple. Blue. Yellow. Green. Red. Sweet. Awesome. Solved it. Good work. Look at the screen. Huh? Wait, this is the safe password. Found a safe password. Now let's try again. This time in terms of size. In which case it's green. Then it's purple. Then it's yellow. Then it's blue. Then it's red. No? Maybe the other way around. In which case we'll go red. Blue, yellow, purple, green. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Thought so. You did it! Hey, check out the screen. Uh, much easier time than most in terms of getting the safe password. Whoa, what's going on? The screen's changed. Just like you. <laughs> and your vote. Alright, we're done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was a cool room. I felt like I actually had some momentum going through this and I didn't get stuck. This is a safe, right? It looks like one at least. There was a safe that looked like this in the crew quarters too. Let's see if we can get it open. Okay, um... Moon, moon, sun. Good. What are we gonna find in here, I wonder? Gold file. Yes! It opened! You did it! Good job, Sigma. Like, I forgot what they found when they went through this. Get it back. Let's try again. No, I always push the wrong button. Pass for Bee Garden. Star, Moon, Sun. Okay. Whoa, it opened again. Is there something inside? There's a lot of stuff in here. Let's have a look at it then. First off. This looks like a map. On the upper left it says, Floor B. The map we found in the crew quarters said Floor A. So A is the top floor, and B is the bottom floor? I mean, I know we took the elevator down to get here, so... Right. Let's keep going. Sorry. There are more things in the safe. This is... Cards. The key card. It has a moon on it. That means... Yeah, this is the moon card that the announcement was talking about. There's two of them in here, just like with the sun card. You should take one, Alice. Why? Well, you're a solo. Luan and I'll take one, and you take the other one. Right. Thanks. So, what have we got next? It looks like a piece of paper. Whoa. What is this? Resume 9, Nevada test site. Some kind of diagram? It doesn't make any sense. I wonder what it is. Nevada test site. That just reminds me of 999, right? They didn't, wasn't the the replica gigantic in Nevada as well? Oh well, just forget about it for now. We can always come back to it later. And we are in the desert. But then again, you know, we've got Mars as a possibility. Even There's two more things in here. What's this? It looks like a note. Immuno... Immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin. Blah, blah, blah. Instagram. Okay, there we go. It says IG equals immunoglobulin. <laughs> My tongue is twisted. What's... Why do you have to keep saying it? What's immunoglobulin? It's another word for an antibody. You mean like the thing in your body that fights off bacteria and viruses and stuff? Yes. So what is this supposed to tell us? Honestly, I have no idea. It's probably going to save me when I go below 1 BP. The only thing left is this key. That must be the key to the exit. Yes, I think you're right. We should be able to use it to open the door. Awesome. What are we waiting for? Alright, team. We can call Alice part of our team. Well, let's get moving. This has a lock on it, so it's probably the lock for this door. Alright, let's open this door. Yes, let's. 
Please do. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, just in time for lunch. Good. <laughs> nice. I was worried that I'd get stuck in this room again. But we did fine. No sooner have we stepped out of the garden than I saw all the three people I'd watched leave through the green door sometime earlier. Whoa! What are you guys doing here? Dio, what are you doing here? You're not at the AB room? We ought to be asking you the same thing. How'd you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. Map? Uh oh, right. I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Yeah. And which room did you go into? This fan-shaped one. It's called the Bee Garden. Bee Garden? It's this big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Look, you can go see it yourself later, alright? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. So you went through the treatment you went to the treatment center. In this flow. Hmm. And then met we and then we met up. Here. Right here. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. It's probably where we're gonna throw you in once you get infected with Radical Six, Alice, you traitor. 